What is going on, gang Alang? A happy 4th of July for you all. And we're here to present you a 4th of July special where the Don himself is going to be ranking all things 4th of July related. And I hope you're all kicking back and relaxing on this magnificent day. And I want you all to let the Don's smooth voice to soothe you all. I mean, what if they're not from the US? Can you at least explain what the 4th of July means to us as Americans? If you don't mind, Barry, let me take over for this. Well, uh, I asked Donald to do it, but sure, go ahead, Joe. You see, the British were all like, hey, you American colonies need to pay the heck up. And then we, the people in America were like, nah, uh, I won't be paying up to you when you ain't even in the hood for real. You don't know our struggles and stuff, so why are we paying you? The British said, okay, bet then sent over some soldiers to watch us at all times. And allegedly, back in the day, there were people watching others in the bathrooms because that's how tight surveillance was. I don't think that's true, Joe. Shh, don't interrupt me. Also, we can't verify it. But anyways, the people in America were like, you trying to trick me, man. Put smoke into my freaking head and shit, man. Then we all said, I don't know what to freaking think no more, man. Get out of me head. Get out of me head, man. And then we started pushing out those stupid stormtroopers out of our land and told them that we have had enough. And we even dumped a bunch of their tea and stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, well, if you remember Star Wars, it's exactly like that. They're the Empire and we're the rebels. And July 4th is the official day that we signed our Declaration of Independence from Britain. And now we shoot fireworks and grill burgers to celebrate that. That all sounded like you're reciting information that you vaguely remember learning about and tried to tie them all together into an incredibly crappy but surprisingly entertaining story. Yeah, I don't know about that. It feels like he just said a bunch of random stuff and tried piecing together a story, but to no avail. Everyone's a critic nowadays. Man, I guess I know how that dude who wrote Game of Thrones feels like I will admit, though, that my story was missing something that all of George R.R. R. Martin's books have, and that was a whole lot of wangs and incest. I could do without that first part, Joe, but you still kept my interest with the second thing. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and get this wonderful list started so that we can fully celebrate the 4th of July. Ahem. Well, coming up first. Ha ha, coming. Ahem. We have two entries that definitely belong in S tier because I don't know what could possibly be more American than eating some hamburgers and hot dogs on the day our country declared its freedom from Britain's terrible tyranny and their extremely terrible food. Uh, I don't know, man. When we did the British food tier list, I remember the f looking mighty scrumptious. And now Frail has to censor that. So thanks, Joe. Why? I just said f it's a British food, so I'm technically allowed to say it. I don't think YouTube would agree with you, Joe, but either way, it's Frail's problem and not ours. But yeah, then following those two bangers, we then have a sparkler, and this is definitely the Super Weenie Hut Jr. version of normal fireworks. But I mean, I still really like sparklers and have to give them an A tier because it keeps the kids occupied. But man, oh man, you all already know that I'm gonna suck the absolute living hell out of these things because I will maximize my glazing powers and give fireworks a freaking S tier. Listen, as Americans, it is our duty to own firearms, and if we can't do that, then it's our duty to light up a bunch of gunpowder and Red 40 and just watch it make shapes and colors in the sky. Why do we do this? I actually have no clue, but either way, it perfectly encapsulates the American culture because it serves no other purpose other than being some dumb fun that you can have with the whole family. Oh, and if you mishandle it, then you can lose a whole finger or arm and that added level of danger makes it better. And I haven't even mentioned that most people are absolutely wasted when lighting these things, which ups the danger factor even more, like it has a points multiplier on it. And quite frankly, I can't think of anything more American than mishandling dangerous objects while intoxicated. I, oddly enough, cannot disagree with this. Now, me personally, I think fireworks are stupid and are a huge waste of money and ends up leaving everything smelling like gunpowder and the amount of accidents that stem from them probably have to be in the thousands every year. But I will say that watching them in a controlled environment is more than okay. If you ask me though, I would rather just lounge around on my day off and just grill in the hot summer day and just relax with the family. Well, thank God we're not asking you Barack, but then after we have a B tier entry because I like how American the cake looks, but if you ask me, I don't really smell the idea of having cake on the 4th of July. Like, I won't be upset if you do bring a cake. Me, personally, though, I'm more of a pie guy, and I'm sure many of you are as well. But holy shit, we have back-to-back S-tier entries coming up next because goddamn, get me some beer and a grill, 
and that's all I need for a great Fourth of July. I honestly think that these two are the most essential combos for any Fourth of July. But I mean, I guess I wouldn't be able to use the grill much if I didn't have hamburger meat or hot dogs to grill. Uh, never mind. I guess everything in S tier is of equal importance. But either way, the grill is for sure needed. And having a cold brew by your side while you're grilling up everything just makes the enjoyability even higher. I'll twerk for an ice cold bush light if I'm manning the grill because that would hit harder than Ray Rice. Oh, hell yeah, Donald. Sometimes I do a little party trick and get some Everclear and spit it on the grill and watch the flames go up higher and higher. But if we're talking about a chill and relaxing alcoholic beverage, then I'd say hand me a peach or apple bush because I like my beer to taste like me, fruity and delicious. Why do you two always have to go to either beer or Everclear? Why can't you guys just enjoy a nice twisted tea or even a Seagram? Okay, bro, those are glorified juices. And the Don does indeed mess with those too. But since you don't know anything about work, Barack, you don't understand how good it feels to come home from a hard days of work and just crack open a cold beer. Like there's just no other feeling in the world if you ask me. Anyways, though, following those bangers, we have some mid stuff coming up. And that's because I have three back to back to back entries going into C tier. And that, of course, is the football, beans, and watermelon. Like, the watermelon had a chance to go into B tier, but then I thought about the number of times I actually ate fruit, and I quickly realized that it wasn't worth bumping up to B tier. And honestly, the same can be said about beans, because I do have beans with chili. I just uh, don't really incorporate it into my 4th of July spread. Like, I'm just stuffing my mouth full of meat paws. But yeah, I just eat hot dogs, burgers, and drink some brews. Then lastly, the football is kind of whatever. Like, you got me all sorts of messed up if you think my lazy ass is going to get up from his chair and throw the old pigskin around. Like, goddamn throwing that to Baron would be the equivalent of my throwing it to a damn basketball hoop because of how tall the kid is now. Yeah, Baron is growing into a fine young man. Oh, a magnificent young man. Matter of fact, I think Uncle Joe should pay him a visit sometime soon. Joe, I swear to God, if you invite him to your ditty party instead of me, I'll be mad as hell. That's what you'd be upset about? Your invite being given to your son instead, not his safety? You've seen how big that dude is. He isn't afraid of the danger because he is the danger on his Walter White shit. But yeah, coming up next, we have the flag being raised. And this might be mighty un-American of me, but uh, I actually don't have a flag in my house, so I never raise anything. But I'm sure other patriots do it enough for me. But either way, I'll give that an A tier because like, it represents the whole point of this holiday and the pride and joy of our country and blah, blah, blah. More importantly, let's talk about the next two banging S-tier entries because goddamn, I love me some fried chicken and pie. Now we're talking about some real shit because I will handstand twerk for some good ass fried chicken. And if I'm done eating all that food and have all that saltiness and savoriness in my mouth, then you bet your ass that I want something sweet in my mouth and some cherry pie feels like it would hit the damn spot if you ask the Don. As long as it isn't any damn artificial cherry, then you have the Joester's attention. However, if it is artificial cherry, then you're better off throwing that in the garbage and getting yourself a delicious ass blueberry pie, because that indeed bangs just as hard, if not harder than a cherry pie, if you ask me. Thank God no one is asking you, Joe, because this is the Don's list. But uh, I actually do think blueberry pie bangs too, but I wouldn't say it's better than cherry pie. They're more like equals in my book, but I also wouldn't be mad if you brought me any single type of pie. Even a cream pie? Joe, you and I both know that a cream pie is my favorite type of pie, and I would absolutely never turn one down, unless it's the actual pie we're talking about. But yeah, anyways, we're almost done with the list, so it's about that time we start wrapping stuff up. And our second to last entry is our very first damn D tier, because who the hell actually likes potato salad? Like, just give me normal mashed potatoes, because I don't know why people would ever prefer potato salad. Like, I don't know why'd you ever choose that over mashed potatoes, but whatever. Because we have our final damn entry. And you may be asking yourself, Donald, what the hell is this? It's a picture of a very diverse group of people, perhaps even a family. And uh, yes, it's basically supposed to be family and friends. And I don't want to get all sappy, but without family and friends, I can tell you that a 4th of July wouldn't bang as hard. Call me a loser, but you know what? I would like to see everyone gathered around the grill and happily laughing and running around with fireworks. This is our final S tier entry on this list. Well, it's the final entry, so it's a given that it would be a final S tier. You didn't have to say it. Shut up, Barack. I'm getting emotional here. You need to let me get emotional with Baron. Shut the hell up, Joe. And a happy 4th of July to all of you out there, and God bless America.
and God bless Fleshlights.